If you do not have calls to action to collect emails on your content marketing, on your website, you are missing out on probably two times more opportunity than you have today. Hey everybody, Dan Martell here, serial entrepreneur, investor, and creator of SaaS Academy. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to build a beacon lead magnet. It's my structure, it's very unique to creating a lead magnet to attract ready to buy customers for your product off of your content marketing or your website. And be sure to stay to the end where I'm gonna tell you how to download my reactivation email template to literally source new customers off any email list you may have today. Let's get into it. So I wanna start off by telling you a story about a company I built called Flowtown. Flowtown was a social email marketing platform that we built back in 2009. And one of the things that we did incredibly well was our content marketing. We had a blog that was generating hundreds of thousands of views per month, but the tr problem was is that all we did was just blanket the blog post and all around it with adds to our trial of our software. We actually weren't collecting any emails. We figured, you know, if we got traffic, we wanna send them straight to signing up for a trial. The problem was with that, that I've learned since then, is that um, not everybody is ready to start a trial with your product. They're not ready to buy what you've got to sell. And what you wanna do is instead, you know, swap their contact information, their email address, for some value that you might have. And the reason why is because marketing is meant to take care of your market until they're ready to buy. So if you've done all the heavy lifting to get somebody to come to your website, then you need to give them something, some bribe to collect an email address so you can continue the conversation, continue to solve problems for them. And at some point, luckily, uh, you'll have the opportunity to you know, sell them your solution. And once we added, lead magnets to our blog, all of a sudden now, there was this whole swath of visitors that were cold, that had no clue what Flowtown was, that weren't ready to buy, that we started collecting emails, and from that relationship we built, we then converted them into trials. So if you do not have calls to action to collect emails on your content marketing, on your website, you are missing out on probably two times more opportunity than you have today. This was true back in the day for Tim Ferriss's blog. Some people don't realize this, but he was opposed to collecting emails and emails marketing because he didn't want to like bug people. And I think it was Ramit Sethi, you know, one of his good friends that finally convinced him like, Tim, you get millions of views to your blog every month and you're not building your email list. Now he has a multi-million person email list. And even the other day, I was talking to a SaaS founder um, that's in one of my uh, programs or a new member, and we were doing a quick marketing audit. And I noticed that they're, they're at 7 million in ARR, an incredibly great built product. And on their blog, they had no calls to action to collect emails other than signing up for a demo for their product. So we want to solve that. And here's the way to do it. Number one is we want our lead magnet, what I call a beacon lead magnet, to be SAGE. I got this terminology from my friend Taki Moore, and SAGE stands for short, actionable, goal-oriented, and easy. This means that it's some kind of document. Typically, it's a checklist, it's a blueprint, it's a template, it's a script that adds a ton of value without asking the person to do a lot of work. Some people decide to like do like three-part video series or a webinar to collect an email address. But the truth is, is you're asking that visitor to, to give you their time. And for a lot of people, their time is worth way more than their money or their contact information. So you wanna keep it short. You wanna keep it goal oriented. You wanna, you wanna focus on what is the problem that your software solves that you can create a template or checklist to uh, connect with that person that tells you that they also have that problem. One of my favorite examples is a company called ambition.com. They're a software platform, and they're not even a client, although they should be, because I'd love to work with them, that uh, helps sales teams build leaderboards and sales scorecards, and really just try to get the most out of your sales team. So if you go to ambition.com, they have a whole thing, it's a resource section with templates and scorecards and they essentially have all these resources that somebody that may not be ready to buy their software but has a small sales team can engage with and download for an email address so that they can continue the relationship onward. It is That is the mentality, the approach to thinking about what kind of lead magnet would even start to attract a ready to buy potential buyer. 
Number two, double aligned. So to me, the, the principle that I was kind of hinting on is the idea of double align. The lead magnet that you're building has to be aligned with the problem that your product solves. And it has to be aligned with where the customer is in their awareness stage of the problem. So could you create a lead magnet that would collect a bunch of emails from any visitor on the internet? If you were like, hey, I can help you make more money, download this thing. And all of a sudden, every visitor to your website downloads the thing. But that doesn't make them a perfect customer for your software product. See what I'm saying is the lead magnet has to be aligned with not only attracting the perfect ideal customer profile, but also the problem your product solves so that when you introduce your solution, it makes sense. So for example, if I have a financial software, um, one, uh, one potential, like especially if it helps with year end planning, you know, like kind of financial modeling or financial planning, then a great template or tool I could give away for their email address would be a year end planning checklist. Like here are the 27 things and all the recommendations we have for how you should do your year end financial planning. And that would be aligned, especially if your product does that. So look inside the software you've already built or inside your, your, your solution, your product that you're selling. And ask yourself, what is the problem that somebody that's about to hire us to solve, you know, to, for the solution that they're trying to fix first? So if I do, um, you know, uh, camping trips, let's say, you know, you go, you want to hike uh, Mount Rainier, one of the top, you know, uh, mountains in the U.S. Uh, a packing list for getting ready for Mount Rainier would be a great lead magnet because anybody downloading that's telling you that they want to go hike Mount Rainier. So if you have a guide service to do that then that's a natural kind of process that you could then say, hey, if you want some help, you want to get there safer, you want to get there faster, give us a call, schedule a call so we can do a quick demo to see if we'd be the right fit for you. And that is what double align means. Number three, test the name. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been doing you know, marketing coaching calls with my clients and seeing their beacon lead magnets and realizing that what they've created as a name for it is really just like a blog post title. Like, how, how to do your year-end planning or seven steps to do your year-end planning, that's not gonna make it interesting enough, right? We need to give it a cool name. Sometimes we gotta just rename it to a scorecard or uh, a template, or we wanna give it a cool name like modeler, or you know, like I have the rocket demo builder or the precision scorecard. So you wanna make sure you test the name. Here's how to test it is email a bunch of prospects, maybe people on your, your marketing list if you have one, and just ask them, hey, I built this thing, name, and I'm curious if you want a copy. If so, just hit reply and I'll send it to you. If you send that to 100 people and only two people reply asking for it, there's probably a problem with your name because it doesn't seem unique, powerful, it doesn't seem sage enough. So be sure that you test the name before you go build it. I literally will run marketing ads against the Beacon Lead Magnet before I ever build it because if I'm not getting the click-through rates, then why am I gonna spend the time and energy to build it? So that is number three, test the name. Number four, conversion flow. This is literally the most important thing. You can have the most amazing Beacon Lead Magnet and miss a huge opportunity to actually convert that traffic into customers. So here's the key. Wherever I promote that lead magnet, it could be on my blog, it could be on my homepage, it could be through ads. When they download that Beacon Lead Magnet on the thank you page, the page that shows up after they download it in the header, you will give them a link to download the thing or tell them to check their inbox in seven minutes because that's where it will be to download. But the page they see is 100% above the fold. Ambition, I'm looking at you, ambition.com, you guys don't do this. Above the fold, you make the prompt for the demo. You make a prompt for your trial. You ask them if they wanna move forward. Here's why. If I think of like open rates for most email address, a good open rate's about 20%. A click-through rate's 2%. So that means that if 100 people downloaded my lead magnet, and I only got 20% open rates. That means 20 people would open the email. And then if I had a link to come back to sign up for a trial or any information about the trial or demo, then I'd only get 2% of the 20, which means four people. So I'd get four people through the email funnel that would come back to the page that might have the information about how they could purchase our product or learn more about it. Yet you have 100% of the people that after they downloaded your lead magnet that were still on the funnel. They were still there ready for the impression and, the, and, and this is a plague. It's 92%. If you're not a coaching client of mine, you probably don't do this. All my coaching clients do it because it's a non-negotiable. It's, it's why we spend all this time generating traffic to collect an email but not moving 
the opportunity forward for the customer. I've always said that marketing for me is, the difference between information and marketing is that there's a next action item at each stage of your marketing. You have a clear next step for this person to go so that they don't just say, oh, this is cool, but what am I supposed to do with this? Or how does this company help me? That is the conversion flow is everything. Make sure that when you give them the thing, Tell them they'll get it in their inbox in a few minutes. That way they stay on the page and then ask them if they want some more help through your software, through a conversation to move things forward and make sure it's clear and there's a direct call to action. Number five, R-N-D. So R-N-D stands for rob and duplicate. Look, I'm not telling you you should steal other people's things and, and, and claim them as your own. But I am saying you should do your research. You should find out what the market is already engaging in. Here's the coolest part about the world we live in is you can literally go and spy or review your competitors' lead magnets to find out what's working really well for them. So here's how you do it. And this may change because ad platforms change all the time. But in Facebook, if you go to your competitors or people in the market that you know are doing really great marketing, and you can do this from my Facebook page, and you go to my, my business Facebook page, uh, on the left side, somewhere you're gonna find the uh, Facebook ad library, okay? So you can even go, I think it's ads, that, again, they change it all the time, but search for Facebook ad library and you can search a company and then see all the ads that they're running right now. And you can see if they've got lead magnets that they're offering the market and go through their funnels. Now, what I'm saying by R&D is be inspired by their lead magnet. If they're running three lead magnets and it's this scorecard, this template, and this script, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can just ask yourself, do I have some unique thoughts on what that should look like? Do I have some existing content? Do we have something in our product that we're already doing that can help the person? And just use that to inspire your creative process for creating lead magnets. Now, I believe that if you do it right and you have a great beacon lead magnet, you can have one beacon lead magnet and it could drive millions of dollars in, in new revenue. But if you wanna get really advanced, then you start to create maybe up to five, hitting the five pain points that your customer might be running into. And, or if you wanna be really advanced, kinda of like I do, then you might have dozens of them depending on the type of content that you're talking about. But for right now, Go R&D one of your competitors, find out what they're doing, that, that if they're running ads and they've been running it for a while, it's probably because it's working, and reverse engineer from their success how you can create a sage beacon lead magnet to really help you collect some emails and build that ready to buy audience of people uh, for your product. So quick review on the five strategies to build a beacon lead magnet that attracts ready to buy buyers. Number one, it has to be sage, short, actionable, goal-oriented, and easy. Number two, double aligned, both the pain the customer has and the product you solve or the solution. Number three, test the name with an email list. Four, your conversion flow, use the funnel. Number five, R&D your competitors. As I mentioned at the beginning, I wanna share with you an exclusive resource called the Reactivation Emailer. You can click the link below to download your copy. It's a template, nine words, you send to your email list that will help you harvest new opportunities, customers, um, with literally no effort. Just send this email, click the link below, download your copy, it's my gift to you. Especially if you're, down, you're collecting emails using the Beacon Lead Magnet strategy, you're gonna need this email. Template, it's the first email you should be sending to them after they download the lead magnet. Click the link below to download your copy. And if you like this video, please subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what the number one takeaway was for you that helps the engagement of the channel. It would mean a lot. And as per usual, I wanna challenge you to live a bigger life and a bigger business, and I'll see you next week.